I'm Dave. And I'm Steve. I'm Dad. And I'm Son. Welcome to another episode of DJ Project, episode 64. So this week at DJ Projects has been a lot of fencing. It's been a nice trip to the quarry. The lads have been smashing it in the concrete side, as per usual. And there's been a bit of hatred towards DJ Projects. Stay tuned to find out. Good morning, it is Monday morning. I hope everyone has had a fantastic weekend. Some proper R&R. &R. It's gone quick again. What are we on today then? We are on bag work. You won't be able to see it because I've sheeted it up. But yeah, we've been on a load of bags, some loose, sharp sand. But yeah, no Jordan today, he's got a week off. He's booked a week off, he's got a week off, so I'm on my own. But yeah, I'm on the grab all week this week. Steve is on fencing all week this week. Uh, and next week, we've got a really, really good job. But yeah, first job is two and a half ton of roadstone, one sharp sand, one builder, nine cement, and three postcrete, which I forgot. So let's go and get the postcrete. Postcrete all on. Now let's get gone. So hello guys, and welcome back to another day at d &G Projects. I know you're going to be watching my dad's clips now. and I know I've just interrupted them, but if I can ask a favor of you guys, we're so close to 60,000 subscribers. If you can give us a chance and subscribe, if you haven't already, we would very much appreciate that, guys. A subscribe will go a long way for us at DJ Project. So close to 60,000. Hopefully, we can hit it very soon. Back to my dad's clips now. So then, guys, we're back with Adam and Lucky. ZZ Top. If you just look up, he's not done us no favours. And there's a bloody lamppost there as well. What we said, we did a chain short. Try and bring it down and swoop them across. So let's have a go. I look at people and I wonder all day Who are you and you are not the one in your way And then I think about myself and I stay I'm a pretty boss, we're gonna hush your brain waste I'm a freak in the sheets, but I got class. I'ma grab a knife if you want it. Best you ever had, and give it to you. So they have had fun down there, I've defeated. They are way too low. Same as that bedroom window. And the crane, yeah, just too low. So Adam's out there, he's gonna shift them all today, he says. He's got nothing else to do. Head <laughs> off to the next one. Yeah, we have it. Another four bags dropped off, sheets back on. Now all we've got is five ton loose sharp sand. Let's get it dropped off. That's another one all tipped off. Empty bed. Now it's back to the yard. Ten ton of road so Two sharp sand, ten cement. Take that out to site and we're grabbing that one as well. So we'll film that. So yeah, to the yard we go. So that's it. We're all loaded up. We've had our 45 minute break. Just see through there. I've got road stone and two bags of sharp sand with ten cement. And we've got to grab away at this job. But first stop is petrol station. So let's get diesel up. So we've filled up 388 pounds 54p. People are asking, why haven't I got, I have got fuel cards. I have got fuel card. I've got a couple of fuel cards. Uh, I inquired about getting a tank in the yard. No saving whatsoever. What I pay on the fuel card is what they'll do it for. So yeah, no saving whatsoever to do that. Uh, we have got white diesel, because all the machines are in on white diesel, but we'll just fill up at the petrol stations. and no saving whatsoever. The only saving would be We'll come back to the yard at night and fill up and went to fuel stations. But then, a lot of expense to get a uh, tank in the yard just for us to fill up. Well, yeah, the future, but not just yet, we'll just use the fuel cards. We, let's have a look to see where this has filled it up to. Just touching the red notches. Let's have a look, see where it's... Uh, I hope I've had the keys. <laughs> let's see where it's taken us up to. Three quarters. So three quarters of the tank is, well, just under three quarters. I had a bit in, didn't I? So, 388 pound, 54p takes three quarters. So now we know. It's time to see me. I'll be on that grab Film it, that's our load there. Nice clean load. The jars didn't film that, I forgot about it. The telegraph wise, we're going back there tomorrow. So I promise you I'll film it tomorrow. But let's go and see what Stevie's up to. Hello guys and welcome back to another day at DJ Project. You saw what Dad's been doing all day. Hopefully he's had a productive day and you've been entertained. It's mining ants turn now to try and entertain you for the beginning for, <laughs> uh, for the beginning of the video. I'm on a fencing job. Plan for this one. 
take this down here as you can see i think it's ready to go definitely ready to go being held up by a string that's never a good sign is it plan for this one you've already got one bay two bay as it's already got a into here we're going to run off this into right here run across to around about here one bay's worth and then that's going to be the front of this fencing and as you can see it's got camp rail fencing going up the hill well that's what we're going to do just with new stuff at around about six foot four inches give or take aiming to match up to that concrete post right there so all of those conifers i say all of them we're just going to nip them all of the way out so they're not in our way basically should be a relatively simple one this one guys we'll get all the tools off we'll get everything we need and we'll start cracking on but before we do start cracking on can you like this video please i very much appreciate it subscribe if you're brand new because we're close to 60,000 subscribers and comment down below i love the interaction so we've got the tea right there guys and i told you that camp rail was going and it's got rid of the the rope and she's pretty much gone so what we'll do i don't know if customer wants to keep that concrete post i'll find out if they do no problem but we'll probably just saw these camp rails off that post just so it's got a bit more to go as you can see post is rotten at the floor anyway but we'll just probably knock these off get it out and then we can crack on that didn't take long to get down at all we even managed to pull the post straight out of the ground so concrete was not attached to it no more and there's a gap so customers just extending out and going up to that concrete post this is all their garden don't really use this side so they're just going to gain a little bit more simple as that guys so what's up guys sorry to interrupt this video like this but serious matters need addressing we think it's totally unfair bit of jealous people out there me and my dad are about to run through a few things right now let us know what you think give us your honest opinion it's always valued at dnj projects so this is out there for the world to see anyway. You can go on to my reviews on DJ Projects Limited and go and check this out. I have reviews of customers, bad reviews of customers, and we address them. But this is a trader. He's been very, very jealous, I believe, and dishonest the things he's putting in there. I mean, read it for yourself because I'm not going to take it down. We're not going to try and take it down. And we've answered it as well. And take heed of how we've answered it because we haven't lied. There's no dishonest things in that. I know this person very, very well. I can't believe he's done this. As soon as he did this, he did this at two o'clock in the morning as well. Two o'clock in the morning, I'm sucking the curtains in. I ain't worried about writing reviews about other companies. And I wouldn't do that anyway. As soon as I seen it at six in the morning, I'm on the phone. I'm blowing his phone up. I'm trying to get out of him to see what he's playing at. See if we can sort this out man to man and talk it through because someone's ruffled his feathers. He reckons it's D&J. I mean, it's mentioned about sleepers before COVID. Yes, sleepers before COVID was stupid money. You know now, we're selling them at £24. We're passing that saving on to the general public and trader. He's saying he's not getting trade no more. Stop using us. You lose that privilege. Why, why would I give someone trade but don't use us as much? Because it's not fair on the real traders but spend good money week in, week out. Why should I give someone don't come here very often trade? We're not going to do that. It's not fair on the trader, but users all the time. So, like I say, guys, I don't want to dwell on it. Read it for yourself. Write down in the comments your opinions about it. But I think he's trying to damage D&J projects. And it really upset me. It upset me. That's why I, I didn't film on Tuesday. Because I thought, you know what? It can damage us. It's my livelihood. It's taking food off D&J family table. And when it starts doing that, it affects everyone. It doesn't just affect me and Steve and Bernie and Chelsea, close family. It affects the lads. You know what I mean? It's, it's a stupid thing to do. Bitter. Really, really bitter and stupid. And I haven't retaliated and written on his. I haven't done that. I ought to. But I've put the home truths about this person on mine. So, have a read. I'm really, really sorry to interrupt the video like this but yeah i'm not happy i wish you'd answer his phone or at least had the decency to come down to the office come and see me he's left that terrible review if you want to give your honest opinion on dnj projects google reviews stick one up there if you've used us and you're happy with our service stick one up there if you've bought stuff from us it could be the littlest thing leave the, leave the review because it does help it helps dnj stuff like that mud sticks Chuck enough of it and it will stick. Do your job in hand and we'll see you on site.
over this one doing what Ant's doing right now looking down the line making sure that when he starts to dig his hole we're in a straight line we'll use the wheelbarrow so we don't get much mess around and we'll crack on with this hole guys we've got our first bay pretty much in it's a custom panel so i'm just gonna have jamie make it so i can slide it in it isn't quite a 6x5 or a 6x6 so i'm doing it to pretty much that shoulder there and then they're going down with a natural step i asked the customer do you want it level do you want it stepped up she wasn't fussed so i'm doing it for us as our job our fencing we'll go into the shoulder there shoulder there she just didn't want to go a nasty crazy high up step so what we're going to do we've run those two posts pretty much level so the panels sit across at the shoulder and now it is about the camp rail i don't know if you remember really oh, this camp rail was actually taller than this fence we're just seeing if we want to do the exact same thing again because the plan was to use six foot feather edges and a six foot feather edge is that much taller than the fence the reason we're having this bit higher is because that's the alleyway there and as you're walking down the alleyway customer just wants this side bit a little bit taller so that's what we're going to do i'm going to give the customer exactly what they're after we're going to be taking down a few of these here you can see them so we'll just snip them just past that post here and we'll get them off right now Hey, now we can actually get some access guys so the plan is put a post somewhere around here if it's too hard to put one here the beauty of camp rail is you can just move the post over and have the rails coming over a little bit as long as they're not flying over like six foot you only want to go up to around about foot so it's still nice and strong so if we need to put a post there we can that's not a problem we'll have a post in that hole just there probably a little bit taller like we say so that no one can see him from the alley and then if it feels nice and strong we won't put a post in the middle if we feel like we want to put a post in the middle we will because we bought three posts just in case we need to centerize one just here so now let's dig that hole get a timber in there and crack on lovely we've got our post in we've stepped a little bit uh, speak we stepped off this post a little bit back because we've got a power post there and we've got a, uh, a rail on here so we're going to put the rail on there and then we're going to run into that rail so i needed a bit of room to go into it there guys so that's the reason we've stepped back a little bit otherwise if i put it there i can't get in i can't screw i can't nail so i've just stepped back a little bit fencing still going to finish in line with the post just giving myself some room we've also done this one here what the plan is here guys to have our fence where is it have our fence running across to the shoulder here and then we're going to go for a step up running up there so we're gonna have a feather edge probably cloaking off this post here that'll be the height difference and then of course it'll be flush on the post this side as well and then it'll work its way up in height up this hill you see and again the whole reason we're doing it is because of this alleyway here as you can see we've got an alleyway that passes all the way down and from here you can just see it because we're a little bit higher so if we get that fence in running up at an angle just like that that's why that's the plan anyway guys i do apologize because it seems to be that i cannot speak today so that's got to be worth a like on this video I cannot speak it's gonna make it work either way Talk about quiet with a big mouth, listen for the doubt, then call it. Make you out for what you say to me. Look at every single need. If you got what I need, then oh, I'll take you on like a big deal. Eggs you can hunt, feel keen ignition. Just keep me for like I had a meal once in a while. Feel alright. Hopefully, you can see it just there, guys just off to go get the custom panel like i mentioned jamie's made that i'm just gonna go get a bigger kickboard to cover the gap from underneath because we're working on an angle the straight edge is like that but there's about that much of feather edge that you can see so i just want to get up and past it at the angle do a little fancy cut when we get here because the, the hill is a little like that and then it flattens and goes like that so i've got like a little v shape to go but uh, as soon as we get back we'll finish it show you what it looks like it should look quite good
Nice. Another one bites the dust, guys. Nicely framed off at the bottom. Lovely little kickboard. Done what we said, guys. Matched it up to the height and then ran across and then had the natural drop down. Come into the panel. Went to that shoulder just there. And as always, to our shoulders. That's what it's looking like, guys. Let us know down in the comments what you think to this one. Bit of a strange fencing job, this one. Sort of extended art, extended the camp rail art. But a uh, customer is always right and a customer always gets what they ask for. When it comes to d &J projects, done exactly what this customer wanted. It's another fencing job tomorrow. That's it from me and Ant today. We haven't really filmed much today, I'm not going to lie. We'll make up for it tomorrow. Catch you tomorrow, guys. So what's good guys, welcome back to another day at DJ Projects. It's Tuesday, I believe you may have saw my dad's clips already. Me and Ant today on another fencing job. It is a small fencing job. There's a potential for this fencing job to go wrong. Now, why is there a potential for this fencing job to go wrong? Well, this quotation was done via email. I haven't saw the job. My dad's not saw the job. In person, this is. There's been one picture taken. Nah, one picture taken. Who knows where they took this angle, why they took it from this angle, this particular picture. But we're about to find out. It's in Stapleford, I believe. It's uh, not too far away, around about 20 minutes away. We're all loaded, we're all packed up, we're all strapped down, we've got tools. I think we're good to go. We're about to go and find out, guys. Wish us good luck. Who knows, eh? This is the fence. So what we're doing here then, guys, we are taking these out, bloody hell. They are solid, cancel ones, of course they're going to be solid, they're going to be in the ground about six foot. Another one here. Hans pulled out a couple of posts already. He's uh, pulled some out there, they're on spikes. Then it runs all the way down here. We're aiming for somewhere around here. The old fencing used to be back here, so the boundary line is sort of past it a little bit, but we're gonna be somewhere around here, centerize it. Got to cut a bit of shrubbery to match this wall down here. It's a, uh, oof, it's gonna be interesting this one. It's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be four foot tall, smooth gravel boards, panels on top, three foots and it will just naturally step down with the little gradient that there is. There's not a lot of a fall on this one. Um, probably level to around about here, it's two bays level, and then just gradually go down to that wall. That's the plan anyway, guys. How strong is this? Oh, it feels quite strong, to be honest. No moving at all. We may even attach to that at the end of the day. Let's clear it all out of the way, and let's start cracking up. We've got one up, guys. Oh, it's not easy though, is it, mate? It is not easy. I'm not doing a job again where I am been to it. Oh my God. Lesson learned, guys. Lesson learned. Don't do jobs off emails. Come and have a visit because you'd see all the potential hazards that are in the way. Like this pie camper, for one. Yes, we'll keep cracking on. We'll get this one in with the magic fingers right now. Here we go. Two bays, guys. Naturally going down with the ground. Oh my God, look at these that we've got to deal with. Already spoke to the customer. I said, basically, just get what you need to get out. Put your post in. Uh, all of this is in the way. So we need to scrape that bit back. Probably a post around about here. So I dare say that's in the way. That's in the way. Not enjoying this one. Not going to lie. Not enjoying this one. Can't fight it. I might let you ride the way. Feel the shock waves. Uh. A lot of roots in this bad boy. Ants having to hit it like he man and try and get them out. Even though it's been a nightmare, it's not looking too shabby, is it? It's definitely not too shabby. Rather than dig away the neighbour's bloody bank, because no one's done anything for it over the years, it's just building its way out onto the concrete. So yeah, it's a bit of a nightmare. Once we've swept all this down and gave it a good sweep and a good clean, I'll know what I've got to do with the holes. I think I've got to fill it in with a little bit of concrete, guys, because I'm obviously doing it on a concrete bed here. It's all over the place as well. It's a bit uneven. Another strange job tomorrow. It's like a week of strange jobs. But I'm going to bring you along for the ride. Hopefully you're still enjoying this video, guys. If you are, remember, smash the like button. really does help us. Subscribe if you're new. Give us a chance. And remember, always comment down below. Hours later, in the van at the yard. 
that job is almost and pretty much complete. We just need a seven foot grow board that will cut a couple inches off. I've had Jamie make a panel, which we're gonna slide in tomorrow morning. Reason we're doing it tomorrow morning, one, it is 4.03 and we've got some stuff on the back that we've got to tip off and clear the bed for now. We've got a load up delivery at four tomorrow and the job's in Branco. So it's not two minutes away. We're gonna get stuck in rush hour traffic. So the plan is, to get the delivery done in the morning, which is only around the corner anyway from our yard, get the stuff we need for the job, fly to the job. Again, gravel board panel, pretty much it. And then we're gonna take out a few rockery things that he's paid us to take out as well. So we'll get rid of them. But rather than drive there now, spend, I don't know, half an hour in rush hours traffic, when it should only take us 10 minutes to drive there, I think that's a better use of our time, loading up the van, empty in the van and go tomorrow. Sound good guys, sounds good to me. I'll catch you all tomorrow. Hopefully, you're having a good time so far. So guys, you're gonna see my clips first, mine and Ant's clips first, before you see my dad's. But I need to start this video off with something very, very, very important. I need to apologize. I've been a rubbish YouTuber these past few days. I've not been filming enough. It's not been detailed enough. It feels like it's just been a rubbish week of filming for me. So I need to apologize to all you loyal subscribers. The ones that always click Whenever you see a video from DJ Projects, I need to do better. I need to be better for you guys. So we're gonna start with today. Oh, we've had a fresh trim as well. Thank you, JP, keeping us fresh. That's what we like to see. Looks very good to be fair, guys. Very good. So if you do need a trim and you can get to Daybrook Arnold in Nottingham, go and give JP a try, Josh. Book an appointment through his Instagram. It's on screen now. Go and give him a follow. Go on to his latest picture and say, d &J Projects have sent me. So yeah, if you could do that. Would very much appreciate it guys but yes me and Ant, or asne people keep saying why do you keep calling him asne i want you to comment down below why do you think i keep calling him asne a s n e e or a z n e e not quite decided yet well uh, yeah let's get to the job guys hey so we're back guys we are back let's have a look this fencing is complete say so, yesterday we was having a bad day felt like we didn't want to be here it was crazy sometimes you have those days guys any of you had those days where you just think nothing is going to plan this was one of those jobs again like i said guys we didn't turn up and quote this one it was done over email maybe i would have priced it a slight bit different if i'd have saw it in person i probably would have to be fair because we took a lot of spoil from this job and that wasn't included in the price in in general but we stick to our prices if we tell you the price it the price i just thought about this time 30 years been on in, in <laughs> 30 years with Billy. We can't speak English. I'm sure my dad will relate when he watches this clip. He's been here 44 years and we still can't speak English sentences. But yeah, this fence is done. I'll show you. Can't show you everything because the, the van's in the way, but I'll show you anyway. So here we go, guys. Running all the way up. Lovely straight lines. Van's in the way, so I can't show you sort of a before and after. I did take a before picture as well, but this is what you're gonna have to have, guys. There's those rockery bricks that I mentioned. Customers gave us a bit of money to take those away. We do appreciate it. But yeah, that's it for this one. As you can see, we've got some timber posts now. Just uh, customers making us a tea. We do appreciate that. And if anyone needs to know where milk and one sugar reach, yeah. Got a timber one next. It's gonna be a good one. A little bit different. More of a, a fixer upper rather than a fresh install. No one really wants to spend the money on the fencing store. So what we're going to try and do, we're going to make it work, make it fixed. Is that a sentence? Is that even English? Probably not. But yeah, we're going to make it work, guys. We're going to get these timber posts and these are free for free posts. We're going to... It's right next to a block paved drive. So we've got to be super careful we don't disturb the block paved drive. So the Acrosa with the poles, the bars, the grafters, they've got to be bang on. Um, but yeah, no, it should be good, guys. We'll catch you when we get there. Hopefully you're enjoying this video. So right, job guys is what we're doing with this one can you see the fence it's got a bit of a lean on it this customer doesn't necessarily want to pay for it this customer necessarily doesn't want to pay for it so we have come to a compromise let's just stand her back up they're rotten there they're not rotten there but what we're going to do we're going to put posts in the middle cut out for the rails and just put them in like i say in an ideal world guys you change it don't you you start again you start fresh with a fence no one wants to pay for this one they have made some of them, they've put posts in between, like we've got one there, we've got one there, like acting as almost spur posts. See how it pushes up there, guys? That's what we'll be doing. We'll be pushing it up, getting it standing straight again, putting a post in here somewhere, standing it nice and square and level. 
and then the customers, painter and decorator is gonna come paint the fence again. That's what it's about. See this one here, look, it's been screwed in once before. So that needs to go like there, don't it guys? Screw back in. So we'll probably put a post in here, stand that up nice and square and level again. Again, it's one of those weird jobs, but these jobs need doing. People and customers need looking after. So me and Asna, we're gonna be ones to do it. Bing, bada bong. Yeah, it will do, yeah. So we'll have to take away the bit of the channeling. So this is all we've been asked to do, guys. We've uh, pushed this one back. We've wedged it in for the time being. We've had the level on it. We've set our level. Going to put some post caps on here. The customer doesn't want them slanted again. So we're just going to put some post caps. A little bit like what these are here, guys. But we're just going to put post caps on again. And like I say, decorator is going to come and paint all of this anyway. So it's all going to be matching. Know what you're going to say, guys. I've just spoken to the neighbour as well. We should just change the fence. And I agree with you. We should just change this fence. But I don't know if there's a disagreement about who's paying whose fence. Blah, blah, blah. So this is the simple solution. To keep everyone happy for the time being so that's what we're going to do we've just figured out we're going to put our next one here we're going to push it back put our next one there wedge it in place wait for everything to go off make sure it's nice and tight and ready to stay there if we need to put one there we will lay it down the line need to put one there we will lay it down the line but what we're going to do we're going to do it in stages uh, so next one will be around there somewhere if it needs more needs more don't it mate if we can save this customer some pennies by not using all the posts then that's exactly what we'll do guys but yeah let's uh do this one here well that yeah that's a perfect line that it's good, isn't it? That's yeah, you can take that out now, mate. The, the grafter should hold it. I don't know if you can see, guys, just got to take this bit out, that bit out of there because neighbour slabs in the way and he's basically said, don't do anything from my side. So, is what it is, right? Can't move it, can't break it off. Got to cut noggin out. Noggin's going to be there. Not bad for a saw, a hammer. And a circular saw. Maybe I need some chisels. Got another one in, guys. Just setting. Just done a little brace here so it can't go back and forth because it's all good using the guster bars and the shovel, but we might need them before we're going to need this post. So that's what we're going to do, guys. Remember, we're going to have post caps on here as well. We're doing three inches off the rails. That's how we're getting our height. So three inches from there to there. That'll be the height of our posts. This one looks a little bit taller because we've gone three inches off this when there's the proper rail just there. This is like an afterthought of a rail. I'm not sure why that's on there. Maybe a bit of extra support. Maybe those rails are, are knackered. So that's why that one looks a little bit lower. We'll get a post cap on there. If that one sticks out like a saw form because it looks too high, we'll knock it off. We'll do three inches from the bottom one and then put a post cap on top. So me and Nan are now doing one around about here. We've wedged this up because as you can see, that's not good, is it? So that really needs changing, but we can't do it. So we're going to put one somewhere around about here. And then as you look down, guys, we've got that straight line part from. So this is all straight. Look, looks quite nice. And then you get down to this bit here where that could do with pushing over. You see that post there? It needs a bit of pushing over. So we may have to put one here, not allowed in the neighbor's garden. So I guess that is what it is. But as you look up from where we've done it, from this post here that we can mess with, nice and straight. Well, as straight as you're gonna get a fence that needs changing. Simple as that, right? But now it's time for this one. Ant's just taking away a little bit of the haunching, because as you can imagine, guys, it's super tight. We couldn't use the post holes on that one. We're not gonna be able to use post holes on this one. It's gonna be a hand dig. It's gonna be a little bit of a grafter. If these blocks here need extra haunching, like these have here, even though it's pretty much basically sand, we will come back and we will put that up against where we're putting our post, guys. Don't think we'll just leave it like that. We'll always make sure it's nice and steady and safe and hard. That is the key, right? We didn't do this drive, but we don't want to damage this drive either. So we'll dig our hole, we'll get our post in, and then we'll go from there. This is what it's come to, guys. It's a handy. Bloody awful.
Don't need one here, guys, because of this wall. It's pretty strong there. But as you can see, practically got a straight line there, apart from that bit at the end down there. So we're going to go do it now. Ant's just going to show you, look. There we go. Yeah. If, if we can get that there, then we've got a straight line and we'll be happy. Just need some post caps now, guys. And this job is pretty complete. I'll just show you the before picture now. As you can see, running down there, it was uh, all over the place. And now, it's not in the worst line, is it? Not in the worst line at all. A few posts pulled it back together. Working in these tight conditions, I think it's a not too shabby little instalment, this one. We're going back to the yard. If anything interesting happens, we shall show you. If not, let's go to Dad's Clips now. Good morning. It's Wednesday morning. Didn't film anything yesterday, as you already know. A little bit disappointed, really. So, uh, start today on a high. So, what we've got today, we've got a soil and grass grab today. And then we have got a green waste grab. We have got another soil and brick grab. And we've got a bag to pick up, and I'd like to get to the quarry. I went to the quarry yesterday. I'd like to film this quarry, because this quarry is really, really big. Oh, I'm in big red because of the glasses. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's be positive today, I think. Really, really positive, not let people get us down. Yeah, let's uh, sort this grab out, put it on a time lapse, and we'll work our way through together. See you on site. And we're back. Good job, Ben Ringer. Mighty white. It's only a little one, so let's get it on. First one is down on the back, trouble back, trouble back. Now it's on to the next. Let's have a look, see what we've got. Around the corner from the yard, so I think we'll get rid of this, and the next one's a green grab, a green waste. So, yeah, I think that's the best bet. We'll get rid of this. I don't know if I point through the soil screen, there's a lot of grass, but we'll try it. So, we're back in the yard, managed to tip that one, you just sit in the mirror, tips it in the yard, gonna push it up the heat. Then that one will go for the screener. So, what's next? It is. The green waste grabs. The green waste is normally hedge to tree and stuff like that. So what we'll do, we'll head over there and see what it is. So here we have it, guys. This is it. Hopefully, I can grab that and pull it. But yeah, this is what I'm contending with. You know what I'm contending with wise in here. We've got a washing line. But yeah, we'll get under that. That's not a problem. So let's stick you on a time lapse and get it grabbed. So, that's another one done. Not really green waste, that black brown waste. It must have been there that long, it's died back. Probably, uh, I'll take this back to the yard, it's not really a full out there. So what I think we'll do, go back to the yard, get this off, and then next one I've got is this afternoon, and I've got a rubble bag to do, but I was gonna do the rubble bag on the way to the green waste, tip off, so. Unless we've got a bit of green waste in the yard, I don't know, we'll have a look. Anyway, let's head back to that yard. my break i'm swapping over now into the upper grab so mighty white we've already loaded that up with some spoil we're going to tip that off and then we're going to that quarry and i promise you i'm going to try and set you up if i brought this lot and set you up with the gopro and drive down in that quarry because it's absolutely huge it's a fantastic quarry and you don't actually deal with anyone it's all done by intercom so yeah you don't have to, you don't have to get out of your wagon or anything the only people to deal with is the people the loading trouble so a bit exciting for you catch up when we've tipped this off. All tipped off. Uh, we're going to get a ticket and then it's off to the quarry. So then this is the uh, road into the quarry. Shut the window a 
little bit so you can hear me. Like I said earlier, you don't deal with any people here apart from over an intercom. It's really, really quick and easy. So beacons on. Here we are. Projects and it's two zero four two seven eight eight. Sixteen ton of type one sub base, please. Down the hole, thank you. Thank you. So yeah, we're going down the hole. That's what they call it. I wait to see this, guys. I was absolutely amazed when I first seen it. I say, I've been here a couple of times now, but yeah, it's still it's still breathtaking. Did we actually quarry? I don't know how old this quarry is. I bet someone will tell me in the comments. But yeah, here we go. I hope you can see this. Lifted my body up a little bit as well. Yeah, just taking the view. Take it all in. Crazy. Look, it's eight ton. Just gonna pull up out of the way, put the sheet over, just so I can load up with people. Check cranes down. 
PTO off. And that's crack up that hill. So when we're going up the hill, we have to put it in manual. We won't, don't like it in auto. So manual, fifth gear, all the way up. Steady crawl all the way up. Just going to try six. Yeah, she's going up in six, bless her. You get to the top and then you go over to another way bridge and you have to clean your wheels. Put it back in auto. Same again, traffic light system. When that's green, I can uh, proceed. Yeah, no worries. So, I just had to tip a bit off because I was overweight by 300 kilo. So, let's try again. We're doing a sign the ticket and post it back through, and then we're gone. Off. So put the arm up, cheat back, flick the lever, so flick that switch there, PTO in, pull that lever, and she goes up. In my dirty mirror, it's all tipped at there. 15 ton, oh, 15 and a half ton, I think it was, or something like that. Don't go far. Time you see me, we've got a soil grab to do. So let's head over there. all done. It was a bit of a difficult one to film. It's on the back, you can see it now. Nah. Gotta go and pick a rubber bag up and then we're done for the day. But this was screen as well, so we'll get it on the screen. Our next one. Tom, what's all this at the side? That's a bag and a half, I think. Come on, Tom, I know you watch the videos. <laughs> let's get it on. Oh gone, done and dusted. Let's get back to the yard and get this screened off. Me and Finn are just doing the last little bits of the soil screening. Wow, we've got a massive amount of soil now. Remember, five pound a ton if you pick it up. Yeah, last bits, look at that, what we just got out. That's all we got out, that load. And the rest of the soil. Yeah, me and Stevie now are gonna load. I have a big red up all this one with bags.
thought you'd saw the last of me in today's part of the episode, hadn't you? Well, we're helping Dad load up, and what are we doing, in fact? Six ton of roadstone, and we've got some ball bags of sharp sand right here going out to a trader tomorrow morning, I believe this one is. Strange how sometimes different quarries give you different colour roadstone, ain't it? This is more of a grey colour. And over there, we have, like, a white cream colour. Strange, but... MOT type one is MOT type one. So dad's gonna get this loaded and then I think we may be putting some bags on Mighty White. I'm not sure yet though what we're about to find out. So let's get this full. Hello guys and welcome back to another day at D&J. You're going to be seeing what my dad's going to be doing up until he gets to us. Then we'll transition to us and when he gets to us that's when we'll catch back up together. But does anyone recognise where we are? Yeah? No? What about if I show you that stump just there? We said we was going to take that stump out. That is the plan. And then we're going to put fencing all the way down here. Again, going for the bow top look. I know a lot of you don't like it when I spin around, so I do apologise. But sometimes you just go. There's that stump. Just going in front of this fence as well, guys. What we're going to do, because my dad's not going to be here just yet, me and Ant are going to start from the wall side, run this fence in pretty much level, running it all the cross, digging out a channel where necessary, and trying to match up to somewhere around about that height. I spoke to the customer, it's not got to be perfectly bang on, but you can see this, this one's gone, this is dead, this bit here, that should pull out nice. It, it's hard, but it has got a wobble, guys. It has got a wobble. So yeah, let's get our first bait in there as normal, guys. We always do the first one and then we catch back up. So let's do it with the magic fingers right here. And there we have our first bay, guys. As always, got this one in. Sitting pretty, very happy with that. And also a little bit of different colour. Of course, these are brand new, but that is the height we're pretty much going for. We'll see if we can run a level all the way. If we have to just do gradual little steps, then that's what we'll do. Should be quite nice, this one. A little bit more privacy for next door as well. I know someone would say, why not just take this fence down? I don't know why. I don't know if this is next door's fence. That's the reason we're probably not taking it down. But as you can see, we're as close as we can get to that post all the way down as well. Thankfully, they're quite straight, so it makes the gap look nice and even, but a bit more privacy because they've got a lazy spar as well. If they're still using it, because as you should all know, energy levels through the roof at the moment. Yeah, waiting on dad to come get that stump out. Not looking too shabby. So let's crack on with that one. One more bay before dad needs to get here for the stump, the digger. Have a look at this. Little customers cooked us up. It's not every day you get this, guys. Looking after us too well, aren't they? Trying to repay with a lovely fence. So we've just had that, it was amazing, guys. Southern fried chicken, a bit of salad, some mayonnaise. We had a pink lemonade subscriber as well, this is. He was always gonna look after us. He looked after us when we did this bit here. He's gone out, he's bought the pink lemonade, he likes it himself, so he's not had to go out and sort of like go out his way for it, but we enjoyed it. It was very, very nice. Thank you, buddy. Muchly appreciated. Now it's this. We know we can get to this one here. As you can see, we started to dig, started to get our fence in ready for this one. But we're waiting on dad. So we thought, right, let's have five minutes to try to bash this bad boy out. It looks dead, it's got movement. We we're gonna bring the digger. If we can get this out, let's get it out, sir. Comments down below. How long is it going to take us to get out? If we can get it out at all. And I'll put it on raw. And see what happens. Ugh. 
got a good axe there because I could be eating Ant's leg here. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh. Right, can you, where can you feel it like pulling me? Yeah, so, so bad. Try all it from, that, all that's out. Try it from this side pushing that way. Yeah. Oh, cheers, mate. <laughs> cheers, brother. Thank you very much. Okay. Look at this, oh, guys. Cheers, <laughs> He's brought us the flakes. Absolutely love it. We'll have that in a sec. And what we'll do, we'll try and get this out and then we'll treat ourselves to one of these flakes. If we don't get it out, we'll still treat ourselves. <laughs> God, I'll be glad. Oh. Ready? Same again. You do that again. You ready? Yeah. Oh, I felt it. Was that my back? <laughs> yeah, that might have been my back that I felt. <laughs> I think it's connected here. Oh yeah, what's that there then? Does it move? Yeah. Right, so I try and chop away. What should we do? What should we do? Is that you? That's just loading up there. Halfway here, we're digging. Should I ring him just to say, just before you do it, give me 15 minutes to try and get us out? Oh, no. It might not be up. Does that feel good there? Oh yeah, what's that? Yeah, I'm just uh, making my way around it. Making my way around town, holding pets. You might get cocky like that. I would, wouldn't I? Actually, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See that gamma ball wasn't there, eh? Go on, big lad. Any oh. tubers on it? Possibly, yeah. Probably this one here. This one here. You ready? One, two, three. Oh, oh what's this here? Might be one here. Ready? One, two, three. And again, one, two, three. Oh. <clears throat> du -du 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 -du. I need you. I'm gonna bang into you. <laughs> I could <come> up <sighs> to the sky. See, that's quite annoying, that is, guys, because... Oh, where is it? We can lift it. Uh, see if we can get it out. Cool. Getting closer, guys. Tree's almost on its side. Big in there, isn't it? Yeah, it's big here. So I'll stop through it. Oh, oh yeah. Uh <laughs> 
That didn't take long. What digger? Hold on, mate. Get the machine in. <laughs> we are the machine, mate. Yeah, we are the machines. <laughs> that's, a, that's an inside joke, guys. Dad always says, get the machine in, referencing himself. It was our turn to be the machine. Oh, well done, Stevie, mate. Hold on, it was good, lad. This yeah. weren't small, guys. Let's not get it twisted. <laughs> I can't even turn it. This was not a small tree trunk. Let's not put it back in, yo. <laughs> <laughs> it was massive anyway, guys. Yes. Hold on. Should I take a picture for Instagram? I think we should, mate. Yeah. Right, it's good. I think we're going to do exactly what Anne just said. We're going to set it up and we're going to get a picture done. So, who guessed the right time? That's a beast. Yeah, mate. <laughs> that is a beast of a stomp. Let us know if you got it right. She was guessing in the comments. Me and I got another one in. All right, it's on to the next one where that tree stump obviously was, as you can see. It's just digging away now. I just started to take the concrete from the neighbor's post. So what we'll do, we'll break just down the side of it. And then obviously when we drop our post in, we fill it all in with post fix again. And then the two concretes fixed together and sort of like combine, get nice and strong again. This one is running down a bit. We're going to use some of the soil just to bed it back out to get the level. Um, Cause obviously we're aiming for under by that post and we're probably almost at that height now. It's pretty, pretty close, but this is the next bay guys. Another one bites the dust. Oh yeah, do love a bow top panel. Got one here now, guys. And it's just digging the channel because obviously we never go up in gravel boards. We always run level, at the very least. So we'll run it down. It's probably, I don't know, just a little bit smaller, smaller, um, short off maybe in height than that one. I'm not 100% sure yet until we get a gravel board on. I think this is a sliding. It may even be a slightly customized. I'm not 100% sure yet. Once we get that post in or the gravel board in at least so we know the distance we'll know what we've got to do but because it's tight we'll probably do this one with the magic fingers well at least post and gravel board to see what we're doing and there we have another one guys let me just remind you what this was looking like a few hours ago as you can see it was just a little divide between the two neighbors around about four foot probably not taller than five foot and this is it now Not too shabby, right? So as you can see, we've done quite a bit of fencing in this garden, and now it's time for some landscaping. As we always say to you guys, start with the boundary, get your fences done first, if you're gonna have landscaping done, because there's nothing worse than having the landscaping done up to the fence and then deciding, you know what, I'm gonna change the fence. It's a nightmare for everyone involved to try and change that fence. But yeah, bit of landscaping, so what we'll do, we'll get my dad round. A little bit of uh, 
ideas, a bit of a quotation. I know we want some slabbed area, maybe some artificial, maybe some resin, a little bit of everything on this job. But yeah, that's it from me and Ant today. We'll uh, see you in the morning. So I said you would saw my dad's clips first. But this is the first time we've seen my dad because he hasn't filmed. He's just not had time. He's not had time. He was rushing round to try and get to me and Ant to help us with that stump. But these two machines did it instead of that machine right there. So as of right now, we're just filling up some ton bags. A 20 mil pea gravel. Jamie's just stacking them up there. So if anyone needs any pea gravel, 20 mil pea gravel, get in touch with us. We've got quite a bit right now. I've actually got quite a bit of aggro. Plum slate, great slate, pea gravel, Cornish silver, Warwick shop, and black ice. Probably got something else hiding there as well. So if you need some, granny dust. Granny dust. I knew there was something else. Get in touch with us, guys. with mighty white with the pea gravel it's big red's turn and she's having some hydraulic oil in because she's being a little bit temperamental this crane is you've got to press the override button and then use your your, your actual controls anyone knows out there obviously he's got a code reader on the side and it's saying e9 l o if anyone knows what that code means i've tried to google it on the internet it comes back the code gets wiped. But why it's doing it, it's reading E9 L O, either low or L0. So yeah, let us know in the comments you, you if you know. Comment down below if you know what it means. And then we can uh, sort what it means. Exactly. But Ann is just filling up with the hydraulic oil. Here he is right now. I'll take that off his hands and then he can help Jordan with those panels. So can you see that measure in there guys? Filled it up now. It was a little low, we're not gonna lie, but uh, we'll see if that sort of fixes the problem that we've been having. We have got a tiny leak on one of the hoses. Tiny leak on the hoses if you didn't quite get oh, that guys. I can't imagine dropping that much oil. No, it was, it was pretty bone dry. But we're about to find out. When it gets warm, as Dad said earlier, I think he did anyway, it, it stops. But uh, yeah, it we'll find out now, get it turned on, see if the arm works. And if it doesn't, before, so when I, when I actually engage it, Dad won't do anything until I got the camera out so I can actually show you. It's probably potluck that it won't work. Oh, so it's not working, look guys. So dad's having to press this button here, like tap it. Keep tapping it. To get it to work. Because look, look at the levers. He's got levers on full. And it won't work. Can you see his thumb? He's got to tap him. For it to work. Now that can't be right, can it? I don't know if it's because that's just bleeding through the system. It's gone down a bit, hasn't it? It's a little bit lower now. Okay. Yeah, it was on half. It's gone down a bit, yeah. Let's try and fix this, guys. So it's working now, guys. Right, there it is, double low. Code's gone. So, it's what the 29 LO means. Yeah, what does it actually mean? Like it, something kicks in and then it starts working. When the legs go up, it feels like it's going to go But, it's done. And I think on that note, we shall end the video. It's been a productive day, a productive week for DJ Projects. It's Friday, everyone's closing up, and from me and my dad, I See believe you morning, guys. that. No, you won't. No, you won't. That's it. It's Friday. Oh man. Oh man. <laughs> See you in the morning, guys.
<laughs> oh, I thought I was on skate list tomorrow. Don't you hate it when you miss a day? I'll see you in the morning. Bloody hell, man. See you in the morning. So good morning guys unfortunately i've got another day i've got to do a friday looks like we're having a busy friday as well dad's just loading up some bags and we're loading them on to mighty white what we got we got four sharp sand right there we're gonna have four hardcore somewhere around about here we're gonna have one two three four and then we're gonna have two ton of pea gravel as well in bags the ones that you would have saw us do yesterday um, but yeah, it's going to be a busy day today, guys. We're going to bring you along for the ride. It's going to be me and my dad for the morning. Then I'm on quotes and dad's got to grab a little bit later. It's going to be fun. I'm going to take you along for the ride. All loaded up, guys. Ready to go. A little bit of paperwork for dad. And we're off. Dad's got red glasses for big red. He needs some white ones, don't he, guys? I've got all the glasses, haven't I? Yeah. Even them on my head. <laughs> he keeps, uh, <laughs> they're not meant to be here, but you definitely need some white ones. First one coming down, he's asked it just to put it on the grass area. We've got a massive garden. I wonder if it's going up there. So this is what we do, guys. We'll get them on the crane with the actual chains and then make sure I'm out of the way. I grab and I just take these off like that. Simple, guys. Always walk round it as well. You never go under. And then quick little take off. Oh, a bit harder with one hand, not gonna lie. And that is it. Simple stuff. Dad waits for me to get out of the way. He takes it back in and on to the next. We'll get the next one somewhere around here. On to the next one we go. Here we go, guys. We've got another one. Dropped them off on that grass there. Custom asked if we could get them over that fence there. But we ain't got the helicopter just yet. Yeah, I must invest in the helicopter. I waste my money on this. Yeah. Helicopter all day long. Yeah. Now, a lot heavy these sports. <laughs> <laughs> I need a patchy or something. That's it. Right. On to the next one. Another one bites the dust, guys. We're too good with this, aren't we? We're too good. On to the next we go. Guys, it's just that little bit there. I don't think we're taking that. I could be wrong, we maybe are, but uh, no. we're not. We've just been told we're not. So it's just that bit there on that flank. So it should be quite easy to get that from there all the way over it. There she is. Don't look like much when it's on the back of this wagon, does it? And there's your wide angle to prove the point. So back of the yard, just tipping off that little bit of spoil, as you can see right there, because it's 10 ton of road zone. Go on, Mighty White. guys we're back at the yard i believe someone has sent us something i think i may know what it is i think it may be some mics let's have a check so what we got then guys 2.4g wireless microphone i believe this isn't the final package it's a company that's just starting up basically i believe without delving into too much detail let's have Ooh. a look we like that bit. Made in China! <laughs> Made in China. We love it. We love a good bit of Chinese kit, don't we? We do. Let's find out. Feels heavy though, that's always a good sign. They almost look like road mics. Let's find out. As, the, as Dad's just said, apparently they come with adapters, but uh, as Dad's just said, it looks the business. It does look the business as well. Wind deflectors as well, that's what we like to see. But. Hey. Uh, yeah, it's a two, it's a two pair off. The most important thing for us guys is clear sand. We don't want no crackle. We want it to be like these iPhone sand, 
but taking away the wind noise that's basically all we're after so i think we'll give these a try might not be in today's video might be next week's but thanks for sending them out mate this guy's not answering his phone so we're going to get it here there you have it it's a bit nice if that easy but it's not and we have to grab it off <laughs> on to the next on to the next this is the next one let's get it Guys, what you don't know after what I uh, uh. So then guys, what you don't know after watching that time lapse is me and my dad actually haven't been together for around about three hours. Dad's been grabbing, he switched grabs and he actually went into Big Red because he had to go down a street that didn't have the best access. So obviously he had to switch grabs. It's nice having that looks rare. Just switch the grab, just get the smaller grab. Oh, I love it, to be honest, love it. That's dad chasing his dreams. Remember I mentioned on Wednesday's video, if you've watched Wednesday's video, if you've got a dream, go and grab it, guys. Go and chase it. This was my dad's dream back in the day to get some grabs. Started with the one that he could afford. Now he's able to afford the bigger one right there. Love it, guys. That's what dreams are about. Keep pushing and keep chasing those dreams. And dreams, they can evolve. Dreams can go bigger, bigger, and bigger. But I've been quoting uh, for around about three hours and I'll catch back up because I just need to move Big Red. Well, I just want to talk about one of those guys from that quote. Yeah, now you can see it grabs ready. Dad's just topping it up so he's able to come all the way over. He's just got to make sure he misses that arm there. But he's got loads of room, to be honest. Yeah, loads of room. Yeah, top levels on nice, hardcore, ready for a tip run on Monday morning. But yeah, going back to the quotes, guys, I just want to say to someone called Tash, I know he'll be watching this. I don't know if he'll be watching this on Sunday, but I know he'll get to it eventually. Just want to say a big, big shout out to you, Tash, for supporting the channel. And this goes to everyone as well. But supporting the channel because it's guys and girls like you that make it all worth it. Make it all worth it. Because don't get it twisted, guys. We're human. Sometimes we don't want to pick up the camera. We can't be bothered. We might be having a rubbish day. Just like a just a rubbish, rubbish day, guys. And this is the last thing you want to be doing. Talking to a camera. But it's guys and girls like you that push us to do it. Because you know when we see the joy and the excitement when we see you in person? Or when we read the comments down below. And they're amazing as well. It really does make it worth it, guys. So I just want to say thank you to all of you guys and to you, Tash. For supporting the channel supporting us because like you've already saw from that clip earlier in the video there's a lot of nonsense out there a lot of jealous bitter people and 99.999 percent of you guys you're not a part of that you guys are bloody awesome so let's catch up when dad's done a little bit of grabbing so let's see there we're ready for Monday. that's another week done Another super crazy week. Yeah, you would have seen the clip earlier in the video. And obviously I'm still not happy, but you're gonna upset people, aren't you? People are gonna get jealous. So, it is what it is. We're bigger than that. And the day we do us, you can do him, can't you? Steve always said something to me. Eddie Earn always said, living in your head for rent free. That's what I'm doing. Living in his head for rent free. That's why he's up at two o'clock in the morning doing reviews. I'm not doing that. I'm sucking the curtains in. <laughs> I've got better things to worry about. I want to build my business, not someone else's. So yeah, that's another week. Let's leave it on a high and we'll see you in the next one, guys.